Hello family, friends, and subscribers. We're getting this generator uh, ready to go online. It says Dayton. It's a 5 kilowatt. It's actually made by Generac. It's designed to run synthetic oil. Uh, it's a lower RPM. Then uh, most of them run 36, and this one runs a little bit lower than that. The actual generator head itself is lower. It's belt driven. So the generator head actually is 3600 RPM, but the engine I think is 3400 or 3200 because it does have a belt reduction on it. It's in the manual somewhere. Anyway, it wasn't running. We bought it and it's got zero hours on it. It was certified, is used certified new. So that means it was installed new as a standby and then never used well it would power up and then the power would just go away and we were having trouble with it and after the power would disappear it'd come online for 10 seconds and then it would disappear and then the starter solenoid started pulling in well that's because the circuit board on the transfer relay thought that the generator was turned off so it would even though the engine was running it would pull the starter in and it was tearing the starter up so I had to have re rebuilt the starter. And what it was is this voltage regulator was set too low. So what this voltage regulator is designed to do is it comes online, it makes power, it gets power from the brushes because this is a brush type generator head and it powers up for 10 seconds and if it's not the right cycles, so if the engine speed is off, or if it's not able to produce the power it's supposed to, the signal from the brushes, brushes is low, something like that, it turns itself off. So the light comes on when it's making power and then it was just going away. So the engine be here running and the starter would be pulling in and out every few minutes and tearing the starter up and spinning it a thousand miles an hour. You can use that word if you want. I don't know where it came from, but a thousand. Not quite a billion or a thousand, a thousand. At any rate, we're using it in the manual position only. Figured out what it was. I fired it up, put a load on it immediately, and checked the voltage. And it was running at 84 volts. Well, that's why the voltage regulator was saying, I'm not gonna have anything to do with voltage like that. I'm shutting off, so I'm not responsible for destroying the things I'm supposed to be powering. So it was doing its job. So I adjusted the trim pot under load. And then with no load, check the frequency, and this thing's ready to go online. Uh, it's been sitting here in the shop for over a year. It's just a backup. Uh, but we're going to take the other one out and put this one on because we've got everything plumbed for propane. And it's really cool running propane rather than gasoline and diesel. One of the things is the if you're running synthetic oil, and propane, there's so much less junk in the cylinders. Your oil lasts a long time and your engine doesn't get dirty on the inside. So I highly recommend propane when you can afford it. So let's give it a try.
this thing off. I saw the Hertz come down. So the cycles came down to about 61 under load, which was about 25% load with that skill saw. And then of course loaded, I'm throwing so much RF on the line with that brush um, motor on the skill saw that my meter can't handle reading the cycles with anything else on the line that's not clean power because I don't have a true RMS meter. I'd like to have one, I just don't have one at this time. So the cycles were close. I'm guessing loaded at 50% or more, it's probably right on. The volts are stable when it's at um, no load and at 25% load uh, we saw it dancing around a little bit of volt or two, but there again, I don't have a true, RM true RMS meter. So the meter could be suspect. So I'm going to call it close enough. It's running certainly good enough to put this one online. This will be a standby unit and uh, only used when the power goes out or a long-term grid down situation. That's what this was uh, purchased for with a 250-gallon propane tank and then another standby 100 gallon propane tank and this is a whole house switch that we use it switches the whole house off of shore power and onto this generator this will also run the well all the refrigeration the forced air heating unit I've load tested it when I could get it running before and uh, it would handle everything but it was just it wasn't acting right one day it would stay running, the next day it wouldn't. Well, it turned out that the volts were just way too low. I noticed that these two wires here were loose. And this works like a self-latching relay. So I don't need to explain that. And, and then the power comes in on the second to the bottom one from the brushes through um, this little circuit breaker. So this connection here, which was the interface paralleling the interface to the circuit board, uh, was to the um, computer board rather, it was suspect. And so also the brushes, I pulled the brushes out. Uh, so the things that I did change besides the voltage was tighten up the uh, Stacon connectors here pull the brushes out and you know push them in a few times make sure they were free and not sticking those were the two things that I changed could that have been a reason why it wasn't producing power consistently that's possible but I really think it's just because the volts were way too low anyway I hope this helps somebody have a very blessed day